Good morning everyone, my name is Josh, I'm a second year Warwick Economics student and today we'll be filming a day through my life. We're going to go through lectures, seminars, other activities, but before that we have to go get the bus. It's about a 30 minute bus journey, so yeah, let's get on our way. There's a number of buses you can get to campus. I usually get the U1 and it tends to take about half an hour from Leamington. You can get a term pass for £125. I tend to use the time just to chill and listen to some music. I'm originally from Jersey, which isn't actually in the UK, so moving away from home for the first time was definitely a bit of a culture shock. I'm sure for most of you it'll be a new experience as it was for me, living with new housemates, uh, not living with your family for the first time. It's really important in the first few weeks to make sure you do as much as possible with them, so organise flat walks or flat dinners, just so that you get to know each other better, because you'll be spending a lot of the year with them. Also, don't feel like you're restricted to just being friends with your own flat. There are loads of different opportunities to make new friends through your course or in different societies or different sports, so there's lots of different opportunities. So my next class of the day is a support and feedback class for macroeconomics. This is where our Dr. Chakravarti sets us online tasks which we then go through in class. In year one, you will typically have 15 contact hours a week between lectures and seminars, and as you progress throughout your degree course, contact hours slightly decrease as there is more expectation to complete independent study. So I've just finished up with my microeconomics seminar, so now it's time to go grab some food and then head to the gym. Just had a, about an hour session in the gym. I try and uh, put it into the middle of the day so I get a nice balance, uh, just to kind of supplement the study. It's nice to kind of clear your head. I don't just do sports to relax. There are plenty of other places to go and activities to do, such as going to SU events, going to play pool with your friends in a tea bar, or even just going for a walk to clear your head. I'd say some of my favorite places to go on campus would be uh, the Piazza, especially to meet friends for lunch. There's a lot of different places to eat, and it's just a nice place for, for everyone to go. Also in the summer, that's really good is that there's loads of different parks and green spaces. So Claycroft Park is good for, there's a calisthenics area and uh, people playing football, having barbecues, great communal spaces for everyone to meet each other. I've got a free hour before my lecture, so I'm just gonna go study at the library. The library's one of my favorite places to come study. If you come on the bottom floors, then uh, you can come and collaborate with your friends because you're allowed to talk a little bit. Uh, but if you want more of a silent study and you really need to focus, then you can go upstairs. Uh, there's five floors and it does get quite busy during the week, but uh, it only takes a few minutes to find a place to study. So right now I've got an essay to submit in 12 days and then we also have a microeconomics test in a few days time. So it's all about balancing your time and making sure that you're on top of them all. Compared to A-levels, there's a lot more independence in your study, you've got a lot more free time, um, which I found quite difficult at first to manage my time. In the end, I found it a bit more liberating because you have a lot more freedom over what you study and when you study it. Also economics specifically, it was uh, a little bit more mathematical. Definitely research the module descriptions on the economics department website before you come. A couple of tips for new students would be firstly to engage as much as you can in your classes, whether that's asking questions in seminars or taking notes in lectures. It makes such a dif difference just to not just show up, but also make sure that you're on top of your learning every single week. Uh, I'd also say try and join as many new societies as you can. Uh, whether that's something to do with sports, music, or I'm part of the Econ Soc or the Finance Society. Whatever you're interested in, you can join a society, or if there isn't one, uh, you can make your own. So it's a great opportunity to make new friends, and also it's just, it's just really fun. Okay, so we're here at Ramfal for the microeconomics lecture. Uh, we'll be going through social choice theory and hopefully explaining some stuff before the test on Monday. So yeah, let's get on in there. As I said, this lecture is pretty useful and I hope it's going to be a big help for my revision going forward. Lectures typically go on for about one or two hours and it's where we learn a lot of the main content. Uh, teachers bring a lot of their own research into what they're teaching, which is really useful too. The microeconomics, for example, is a core module, but you also get the option to choose different optional modules uh, based on your preferences. So last year I chose environmental economics, which is interesting, and a change to the core modules. Okay, so now lectures are over for the day, so it's time to meet some friends get some food and do a little bit more study. It's always nice to be able to catch up with my friends on campus. We're all studying economics, so I like to hear what they've been up to and how they're doing. Uh, we're just off to grab a bite to eat at the piazza and then I'm gonna go and do some independent study on my own. I find my independent study time really valuable. It's an opportunity to reflect on my day and collect my thoughts and ideas. It also means I'm responsible for my own learning and I found this really useful in developing my organization and time management skills. So now I'm done for the day on campus. I've done my lectures, seminars, gym, met with friends, done some study. Uh, so now it's time to go catch the bus and go home and then spend the rest of my evening at home. So 
So I've just got home, it was about a half hour bus journey and I'm about to cook some dinner. So I finished my dinner, washed up, and watched a few of the World Cup games going on at the moment. It's about 10 p.m. right now and I'm about to go to sleep. Uh, so yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed this day in the life and I hope to see some of you guys soon on campus.